Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Yes, this is Espresso and a very good morning to one of our favorites, Tibbs. And good morning, Qatar. So good to be connecting with our broader SABC Sport family because I know you are just as excited as us about the World Cup. It's kicking off in five days in Qatar. Number of high-profile teams and players, of course, touching down now in the Middle East to begin their official preparations for football's biggest showpiece. And along with the players, of course, there are also hordes of fans streaming into the country. In fact, it's predicted over a million supporters expected during the course of the competition. That in itself, not without its drama. I know you guys have been honing in on that. But here is a little bit of a look at some of the arrivals of teams and fans and the atmosphere that's starting to bubble under Mr. Carl Wasty, of course, ahead of the opening game on Sunday. Are you pumped, dude? I am super pumped. You know, I, I actually told my household the, the TV's mine. Um, I think people need to know about that as well. And also, Done. like, the, you know, where the, the times of the games, it's quite interesting because it gives you good talking points throughout the entire day. I, I feel for the officers who are now... Say. Because now <laughs> you're going to have to have a TV in your canteen if you are going to actually get this World Cup sorted. So there is a lot of excitement over here, despite some of the interesting controversy layered yeah. here and there. But I focus on the football. Yeah, well, Dua Lipa, we'll get into in just a moment, of course, not going to be there. But let's speak about who is going to be there. Yeah. One of the highest profile players in the world, clearly of his generation, Lionel Messi. So much said about his lack of World Cup glory. This is going to be his last one, probably. And this is that opportunity. And of course, for all his achievements, he is yet to lift that World Cup, um, which is surprising when you look at this man's incredible accolades over the years. Came pretty close back in 2014, but Argentina had their hopes crushed by Germany. And, of course, Mario Götze is going to be back on that field, so it'll be interesting to see that play out. Now, of course, along with Messi and Argentina, a number of other countries entering into um, the fray. And from an African perspective, Senegal is our great hope. So many amazing players in that team. And, of course, understandably, a lot of excitement as they made their arrival in Qatar and already a lot of fans awaiting their arrival. And when we talk the likes of Sadio Mane, uh, Khalidou Koulibaly, Benjamin Mendy, these are superstars in the Premier League. Absolutely. And the great thing is that, you know, since we don't have a Bafana Bafana there, there's going to oh, be an thanks, affinity dude, to support. Uh, Sorry to remind uh, you. But, oh, I mean, uh, oh. you know, everybody on the continent, you know, back there, the African teams, they've done so, you know, so, so well in the yeah. past. I mean, if it wasn't for a certain Luis Suarez handball, would have been ah. better. I'm not going to go back there. Ah. We're still hurt. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's Senegal is one of those teams where I believe that they could actually take it all the way. I know Sadio actually picked up a little bit of a niggle with Bayern Munich recently, but I think he's going to shake it off. It is the world. Yeah, no, look, they've said they will go as far as getting the witch doctors in to make sure that this man is strong <laughs> and fit. So I hope you went after them for that one. Um, but we love the fact that yeah. we do have representation in the form of an African team that could do it. So I put my money on them, in fact, yesterday. That's, I'm um, going all the way with Senegal. Then, of course, um, we know that the Qatari national team is going to get a lot of support from the yeah. locals. They've really bought into this. Um, but also, the locals seem to be buying into some of the bigger teams as well. The likes of England, um, Argentina, Spain, and of course, Germany also being welcomed into the country. And I think they've identified that these are the heavy hitters. And we've got a kind of golden generation of players moving through this balance of these amazing young players. When you look at that Brazilian outfit and the oh. balance of these experienced players as well. I love it. Now, um, not everybody's interested in the football, dude. And that's okay. That is all right. If you're interested in who's going to be performing in the opening ceremony, which is often, I think, the most watched spectacle in the world at any given moment. Um, this broke a, uh, a little while ago, and I was waiting for the fans to get hold of it. Uh, Jung Kukov, BTS, yes. is in the house. He's going to be performing. Um, obviously, one of the biggest artists in the world groups at the moment and they're going to be performing at the opening ceremony and you can imagine how the fans responded because this even for these artists who are used to performing on the biggest stages this is a step up i think it's also great i mean after the break from from bts jungkook doing their own thing charlie puth there's a song left and right one of the biggest of, of 2022 so it's obviously massive but then again there are some people who have declined invitations haven't they so Dua Lipa, I think we were really desperately wanting to see Dua Lipa perform, yeah. but she has very gracefully said until Qatar bring their human rights record up to scratch, and she looks forward to visiting the country at that point, but yes. until then she is not going to be going. I know Sir Rod Stewart also declined, and there are going to be some superstars in the mix there. I know the Black Eyed Peas are coming back together yeah. um, to be performing as well. 
but we're going to have so many moments like this. I think a bit of a watershed moment with David Beckham, who is obviously associated as an ambassador for Qatar at the moment. And he has also been so closely linked to the LGBTQ community and a proud ambassador yes. for their rights in the past as well. So I think he's been forced to walk a line here that's going to be, as you said, very interesting to watch how this all plays out. But the bottom line is the World Cup is here. It's being hosted in Qatar. And this is the moment that the world's footballers dream of. It doesn't matter what they've achieved. All of them want to lift that World Cup trophy. And we just happen to have a couple of goats in the mix as well. Who's your money on, lad? Brazil. Oh. I have to. Okay, he goes for the safe money. I'm on Senegal all the <laughs> way. But you can let us know. 0634088863. Drop us a WhatsApp line. And to the good morning Qatar team, we love you guys. Good morning.